Francis Galton was an extraordinarily intelligent man. He wrote, among other things, about sociology, psychology, anthropology and meteorology. He was also an explorer and inventor. But he's best known as a pioneer in the field of eugenics, a term he invented himself. So why is it important to remember the work of someone who died more than a hundred years ago and who had some pretty reprehensible views on improving the human race? It's not useful really to think about any historical figure purely as good or bad, but to look at their work and to look at the context of their work and their influences. More than anything else, Galton was a statistician, hence his motto, when you can count. Arguably, it was Galton who invented the notion of big data. One of his most famous experiments demonstrated what's now commonly known as the wisdom of the crowd. There was a guess the weight of the prize steer competition. He took all of the entries for that competition, the little slips of paper that people had written their guesses on, took them all home, tabulated them, and realised that even though the individual guesses were not accurate, to guess the weight of the steer, the average of those individual guesses was only off by something like 20 ounces. So what he propounded was that uh, there, is, there is wisdom in crowds because even though no individual person was able to guess the correct weight altogether, they were very close to what the correct weight was. The perfect example of the wisdom of the crowd in action is the stock market. Mark Hebner, a financial advisor and investment author based in California, has had an interest in Francis Galton's work for many years. An investor should think of the market as this huge processing machine, collecting the information and knowledge and forecasts of some 10 million traders on some 44 stock exchanges around the world, trading some 10 billion shares a day. And so what this does is it sucks up and embeds all of this information into the prices that a willing buyer and a willing seller are willing to trade at. And through this process, we end up with the best estimate of the value of all of these securities, both stocks and bonds, all over the world. So, the first lesson Francis Galton can teach today's investors concerns the wisdom of the crowd. Yes, stock prices can go up and down, sometimes very quickly in response to new information. But all known information is already baked into prices. And the market does a pretty good job of judging how much a particular stock is worth at any particular time. We'll look at Galton's second lesson for investors next time.